Hey, what's up y'all? It's Ryan here again, and I'm excited to show you a new plugin from STL Tones today. The reason I'm specifically excited about this plugin is because this is the new Tonality West Borland plugin from STL Tones. Now, for those of you who don't know who West Borland is, either you've been living under a rock or you're probably just too young to be honest with you, but West Borland is one of the most iconic guitars from the new metal era. Best known for his work in a just a little known band called Limp Bizkit, but he has a ton of other work and he's also a solo artist. He's got literally decades worth of work under his hands. Now, if you know anything about West Borland, or for those that don't, his guitar tones are pretty iconic for a few reasons. One, he's not just a normal like average metal or rock guitarist. He's known for using a ton of crazy effects and having the weirdest, most unique sounding guitar tones in my opinion, and actually making them work in the context of songs. And that's something pretty huge, especially in today's day. A lot of people do seem to be pushing the edge of what a guitar can sound like, but it doesn't always fit a song. A lot of it seems to be just for the sake of having a cool guitar tone. But that doesn't always translate to having a great song and actually making it fit. When you listen to old and new Limp Bizkit tracks and any of the tracks that West Borland has worked on since then, you'll notice that his guitar tones and his guitar riffs always fit the song. It's not just a giant wink fest for lack of a better term. So many different pedals have been built around like the different tones that this man has created over the years and STL Tones has really managed to capture the essence of all of that inside of West Borland's custom plugin from them. And honestly today I wrote what I think is a pretty sick new metal track and I think you guys are gonna like it and then I'm gonna let you hear some soloed guitar tones to hear what all of these different effects are doing inside of the plugin because there's a lot. But before I jump in all of that I do have to say that this plugin was sent to me free of charge from STL Tones so that I could make this video so I guess you could call this a sponsor video. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on in and listen to this plugin in the context of a full demo mix. All right, so now that we have the full demo mix out of the way, let's go ahead and listen to some soloed guitar tones. Now the guitar that I'm using is my trusty GOC Guitars Illumina Plus, and it's using the Aurora Tone Ultraviolet pickups in it as well. I'm gonna stick mainly to the bridge pickup because that's pretty much all I use anyways. This is just going straight into my audio interface. There's nothing else between the guitar and the interface. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is one of the first presets that it starts up with. Anybody who's familiar with Limp Bizkit will know this song, My Way. Uh, it's probably the first song that I heard by them. I was pretty young. Still can't believe I talked my parents into letting me buy this CD from the CD store back in the day. And yes, for those of you that are too young, there were and still are CD stores. So I'm not that outdated yet. So this is what it sounds like on the bridge pickup. So it's got some cool delays happening here. You'll notice that in the amp section, so this amp specifically is going to be the Roland Jazz Chorus, which is known for being one of the best clean amps that you could ever play. Uh, I never personally got to own a real one, but I have played through a real one and they're fantastic amps. Now, as far as the effects going, there's nothing going on right here in the filter or the Big Fuzz otherwise known as Big Wes. But if we go over to this effect section, you do have the chorus and flanger. This is set to the flanger mode here. So if I turn that off, you can hear just the delays going now. So just the delay going, it would be just a normal, a pretty cool normal clean tone. But then we add this. It just adds that weirdness to it. So, and that's the only way that I can think of to describe it is weirdness. If we go to the bridge pickup and hear it again. So you can hear already out the gate, the first preset that the plugin starts up with is already gonna be a really fun one to jam through, regardless of what style of music that you play. It doesn't matter if it's rock, it can be metal, it can be whatever. But these presets that Wes has made in here sound great as it is. I'm a metal guitarist, right? So I went straight to the standard heavy and standard heavy two presets when I saw them. So this is what those sound like. Now that might sound kind of muddy and kind of like 
overly bass heavy right now as a soloed guitar tone, but that is actually the guitar tone that I based what you heard in the demo song on. What I did was I actually just changed the cabinets a little bit. So let's go ahead and go through the different tones that I made. So standard heavy two was actually the preset that I based on. I was a little bit wrong there, but let's go ahead and hear that as a soloed tone. <laughs> So you're able to get it pretty heavy with that. Now the stomp boxes, I don't have anything going on in the stomp boxes at all for this tone, it's just a straight up rhythm tone. I chose the amp too, which is the diesel amp. And again, that's part of that preset. So you can see we've got it on channel three right here. I've got the gain a little bit past noon. I've got the volume cranked on here. I've got the treble cranked on here. The mids are cranked and the bass is turned pretty well down. If we go over to the cabinet, I did mess around with the cabinet a little bit, changed around these mics and ended up still settling on these two. So a dynamic 421 too in the Dynamic 57 and left the placements. Man, the graphics are really sick on this. Uh, no other effects. So this is literally just a straight up rhythm tone. So again, standard rhythm tone there sounds great in my opinion for the style of music that I was going for with that demo mix. In the intro, I went for a little bit different of a guitar tone because I wanted something more affected. So again, I left these two stomp boxes alone. I'll let you hear what those sound like in a second here though. But over in the effects section, I did turn on the chorus pedal. So it sounds like this. So that's what that one came out sounding like. And that's literally just the chorus pedal. The amp is left pretty much the same as what you saw. And if we go to the cabs again, same mics and everything done for the cabs, none of the stomp boxes are turned on. Now let's get into the lead tone. So the lead tone is definitely where I did something a little bit different. I'm using both of the stomp boxes. So we have the filter pedal and then we have the fuzz pedal both turned on. I have the fuzz's Z function turned all the way up. So this slider changes the effect of the input impedance and fuzzes are usually designed with very low input impedance causing plenty of signal loss and treble roll off. So I cranked that all the way up just to see what it would sound like. And then I also have the filter on. So I'm gonna turn off the filter and let's go to the effects section here. I'm gonna turn off the chorus flanger as well so you guys can hear what it sounds like. So the bass tone without any effects. And then if with the effects. So that's with the filter. And then if we go and turn on the fuzz pedal. All right, and then if we go to the effects and turn that flanger back on, and actually I have it set to the chorus mode. So as you can hear, that was pretty simple. I didn't do much to get that, and that was all still based on the standard heavy tone that I had made for the rhythm guitars themselves. So I put together that quick lead tone. And then for the standard lead tone, I just changed it a little bit. So you you heard in the second part of that little chorus there that it changed up and you could hear the guitar tone a little bit more. It cut through a little bit more. So what I did was I turned off the mini filter and then I turned off the flanger. So I had more of just a traditional lead tone, but I left the fuzz on. It just gives it a cool effect there, like. <laughs> And so that's the lead tone without the filter and without the chorus. So originally I did them twice like that because I didn't know which way that I liked it more and I ended up leaving it in the song because I felt like it had a little bit more impact changing that lead tone halfway through it. So if I were to finish this song, and I'm probably going to, I just have to find somebody to do vocals for it. So if you know anybody, tag them in the comments for me. But once I finish this song, that's gonna sound pretty sick because it's going to change things up. I might do it maybe one whole chorus is with all of the effects and the second chorus is with less of the effects. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Now, as far as other features go inside of the plugin, we do have a really great gate that's built and this works really well on all of STL's plugins, to be honest with you. I use it for high gain tones, rock rhythm tones, everything. It sounds great. You do have your input level knob over here as well, which can be important depending on the audio interface that you're using. Not every audio interface has a FET level input on the front of it. Some of them, you do need to adjust this either up or down, especially depending on if you have active pickups or not, and if your audio interface can take that. We have a really solid built-in tuner. As far as the amplifier goes, I didn't show you the third amp here. So we do have amp three, which is based on a Zodiac 50 Mark II. So let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. And let me turn off all of the effects here. So no effects and you'll hear just what that sounds like. So very, very clean amp. So it sounds great on the neck and the bridge. Let's go ahead and find a preset that uses it real quick. So the Captain Collie Cab, this one sounds kind of crazy.
So you can hear a lot going on there. We have the fuzz pretty well cranked over here, but with the Z level down. Cabinet wise changed to the Zodiac combo cabinet as well. And then over in effects, we have all three effects going. We have both delays and we have the chorus going as well. So kind of a crazy sound to that one. And then we have the Christ Cabana. So this one sounds kind of heavy actually. Almost sounds like some old Deftone stones, to be honest with you. A lot of that old like stoner and doom metal. And it might even work as like a uh, an intro tone, like almost like a radio effect, because if you throw a filter on this, like a, a high and low pass filter and bump the mids a little bit, this would actually sound really sick for an intro tone too. The standard clean tones on here just sound awesome, to be honest with you. Again, the Roland Jazz Core is just, it sounds super clean. And it doesn't matter what pickups you use on it either. I've used really hot pickups. These are medium level output pickups here. And I've used some lower output pickups and it just sounds great clean no matter what you do to it. So I don't know what they did in that amp, but thankfully STL modeled it very well. The neck pickup. Now in the cab section, there are a ton of cabs to choose from. So you have six different cabinets to choose from. You can split these left or right, or you can turn one of them off and just have one cab going. So that way you have a ton of options, but each one of these has a ton of different options for microphones as well. And then you can change the placements of those microphones. And as we all know, the quickest way to get the biggest change in a guitar tone is to start messing around with your cabinets. But if those aren't enough for you, you can upload your own external IRs as well, which I have a ton of. I didn't use any for this. I didn't see a reason to, especially for the tones that this plugin is going for. I had no reason to use any third-party plugins at all because everything built in sounded perfect for what it was made for. So yeah, that was a look at the new STL Tones Tonality West Borland plugin. I hope that this helped you guys to see what this sounds like and what it's capable of. I know I'm not the best new metal guitarist out there, but I had a ton of fun writing with this plugin. And I know I'm gonna use it as a normal part of my writing chain from this day forward, to be honest with you. Ever since they sent it over to me, I've been jamming on it almost daily. And I haven't really scratched the surface of what it's capable of, to be honest with you. So I know that there's a lot more I can do with it. And it's forcing me to experiment a little bit more. You know, there's no overdrive pedal in this, which is actually a good thing because my normal go-to is to crank the gain up a little bit and then crank on an overdrive pedal, do a high and low pass filter and just go for straight up metalcore tones. And this forced me out of my box. This forced me out of my comfort zone and it forced me into actually writing something I normally wouldn't have written because I'm using effects. And that's something I don't normally do. I don't know why it's something I really need to change about myself as well. Because as soon as I started messing with the effects, I wrote a lead that I was actually proud of and it wasn't a complex lead or anything. It was just a fun one to play and it sounded great in the context of a song. And I think that's what's important. And that's probably the point of having STL work with an artist like Wes Borland because yes, he's iconic for his work in Limp Bizkit, but he's also iconic as a songwriter and a guitar player that's pushing the boundaries of what a guitar can and should sound like but in the context of songs. And that's something that I always strive for as well. So I hope you all like this. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I mean, it's a great plugin. It should sound great no matter what guitar that you plug into this as well. So that's it for me today, y'all. Peace out.